Hi and welcome back, it's Steve of Bucks Coins. Today I've got some change here that I got out of out of uh, shopping. It's mainly 50p's but I also have one £2 coin and the one £2 coin that I was given was actually a face a face coin. It's uh, Brunel's Arches at Paddington Station. So, let's have a look at our two pound book. This is the two pound book. And we're looking for Brunel's. As you can see, I can still need all of the really hard coins, the four Commonwealths, uh, Arsenal Rugby, Brunel Portrait. So the next one should be Brunel Arches, which I already have. So that coin is not needed in this collection, so that can go back into circulation or into my collection. I'm not sure which yet. Right, the rest of these are 50p's. And my 50p album is pretty good. There are quite substantial holes, particularly in the... Uh, in the Olympics, so I'll be looking out for those in particular. A lot of the later coins, with the exception of T Mrs. Tiggywinkle, Peter Rabbit 2018, and the two Paddingtons, of the later coins from sort of 2016, 2016 onwards, they're the only four I need. So let's get hunting in this 50p's with these 50p's. That one is a Britannia. We're looking for 2008 in those, but that's only 2001. Another Britannia there from 2002. 2005. And we have a library. So that's one to look out for in the book. 2002. Britannia. Another Britannia from 97, most common year. This is a very dirty, ugh, horrible looking Britannia. It looks a bit, it feels a bit light and thin as well, from 1997, supposedly. 2001 Britannia. I have a horrible feeling that the vast majority of these are going to be Britannias or Shields now. Britannia. 97 again, Britannia, 97 again, A 2006, Britannia, A 2005, Britannia, oh. Buy me another Britannia. What year is this one? 2000. That's got to be a Britannia. Yep, there you go. Year 2000 again. And another Britannia. What's this one? 2019. That's going to be a shield, isn't it? Yeah, it had to be a shield. 2014, another shield. The shields, of course, we're looking for 2019, 11, 16, 18, and 20, as none not intended for circulation, and 2017 as a short a short year, a low minted year. This one's 1998, and it's a Britannia. Nineteen ninety seven Britannia. This is not looking good. Just a few more left from the shopping change. And I've got a couple of extra ones to show you. Two thousand fourteen Shield. 
1997 Britannia this one's another shield from 2015 2019 shield 2015 shield final one is a Britannia from 2001 so that hunt wasn't very particularly good. We only got one coin to check in the album. However, I did go to my I my friend was having a clear out of his piggy bank and I invited myself along in the sense that we we did it uh, we did it When he came round to visit me because I'm disabled, he came round to visit me and he should and he brought his coin box with him, and he had three fifty p's that I wanted of him. One of them was Benjamin Britten. One was a uh, votes for women suffragettes, and the last one was a 2016 WWF. Now, let's go back to our album. I have one more coin to show you after this. Our album. First one. The... Oops, if I just hold it like that. You can see I already have a dictionary. So that's it again. I need to make a decision on whether I want to keep it or not. So for Jets, I have that one already as well. You see that? Benjamin Britten. From after the Olympics. And unfortunately, I also have a Benjamin Britten. I also, at the same time that the Olympics arrived, in 2011, we had the World Wildlife Fund, and I don't have that one, it's up in that top corner there. So let's take that one out. <coughs> Excuse me a second while I just play merry hell with this. Oh. And the World Wildlife Fund one goes into the book. And there you go, right at the top now, World Wildlife Fund. So, not really successful time of the five coins I could have put into the book. I only needed one of them that I had. However, I have a little, I have a very special coin here. As you can see, it's an 1807, the slavery trade. But the difference with this one is, this one has the two initials. And it doesn't have a dimpled surface or a rumpled, ruffled surface behind the 1807. This has come from a year set. It's a, an NIFC. I found this on um, eBay. There were several others that were up for auction and they were all getting very close to the buy it now price that this one was. This one cost me £20 from eBay. It's probably, in my opinion, it's worth probably more than that. Uh, recent sales of these have been going as high as £40 to £45 up to 40 and 45 pounds so I think I've got a damn good deal with it and this one will be going into my master collection I will be taking it out of this protective and putting it into a card 
uh, a cardboard flip. This coin itself, as you can see, is pristine. The other ones that I saw on sale on the uh, where where you could bid for them weren't as in, weren't in such good shape as this one. This one is oh, absolutely pristine. It's wonderful. It has the initials DG and everything is so crystal clear on this one. It's hard to think that it is a coin that is what 13 14 years old. So that one will be going to my master collection and I'll add it to the master collection uh, in the next couple of hours or so. Well that finishes off this coin hunt for my shopping for my change. I've got a couple from my friend when he sorted out his uh, piggy bank and I got one from eBay. Okay it's not been 100% successful and I'd like it to have been a little bit better but it could have been a lot worse. I could have had absolutely nothing to show you from you know, shopping change, it's, you, it's just a look at the draw. Uh, if you ask for 50p's in your change, you can't guarantee you're going to get coins that you're looking for. However, if you're having a hunt, I hope you have a successful one and you find the coins you're looking for. If you are buying coins like I've done, as one of these things on the net, and I also gave my friend money for his coins in exchange for his uh, coins for the £1.50 I gave him £1.50 back I hope you can find the coins you're looking for at the price you want to pay in the meantime I hope you'll give me the thumbs up for this video and also uh, you to subscribe Puh start again Steve that you'll subscribe to the channel and until we meet again in a future video hopefully on this channel bye bye for now